In this video, we'll discuss the magic of the base plate and how it works with the ring to measure an angle. Imagine you're standing in the center of your compass. The ring of your compass is a circle of directions that represent the horizon around you. North is important because it's zero. It's the start of the numbering on the ring. You've learned how to point your compass to north. Let's ignore the magnetic needle and orienting arrow for now. In fact, I'm going to put a sticky over them. You can also use a compass as a protractor, a tool used to measure an angle. An angle is formed when two lines start at one point and go out in two different directions. One of the lines of this angle is always the line that goes out to north. The other line of the angle is the direction of travel arrow on the movable base plate. This line points to the direction you want to travel, to some destination. Let's go to the fishing hole. The numbers on the ring show how big the angle is. Read the angle at the bearing pointer, this triangle right here. See it? That's where you read your angle. The angle, which we're going to call the bearing from now on, is 72 degrees measured by the numbers on the ring and read at the bearing pointer. The word bearing is used for two things, the size of the angle and the direction you want to travel, like stay on this bearing and you'll get to the fishing hole. Let's go climb a peak. See, the bearing gets bigger going clockwise. Read the bearing at the pointer. This is 160 degrees. Now we want to go to the mine. Read the bearing at the pointer. The bearing is 254 degrees. The bearing gets bigger going clockwise. The end on the ring always points the same direction, to north. We call this turning the ring, but what's actually moving is the base plate with its direction of travel arrow that points you in the direction you want to go. It's the movable base plate in combination with the numbers on the ring that gives your compass its magic, a protractor app.